Hello, and once again welcome back to The Medium, this time for part two. Thank you very much for leaving your support on the first video, hopefully it continues throughout the series. But here we are, inside the Neva Hotel. This is going to take some exploring, I think. But first things first, let's take a look at this on the floor. A load of bloodied clothes, and there's something about this shoe. I hear whispers. Is this... oh, hang on. Did I see something at the heel? Here we go. Ah! Oh. What the hell's going on? Maybe there's some truth to the massacre? <sighs> so it's true. The Neva massacre. Maybe. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, you do, but I don't think it's going to be quite that simple. Alright, so it's just that. Insight says, yes it is. Okay. Right, so again, using Insight. No footprints! Okay, so... Oh, they took us this far. Now we're on our own. Alright, so can we just go straight across here? Apparently not. Okay. We've got some sort of mural thing. Okay. Up the steps. Hello? What was that? Anyone? Hmm. Thomas? You there? What have we got? Something here? Oh, yeah. The duckling. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Polish legends. The dragon of... Wawel or Vavil Hill, possibly? Alright. Back to school, puzzles and crosswords. Maybe I'll get on with those if I don't find anything else to do. <laughs> and over here, I think... Is that a map? It is. Okay, so... I'm just going to take a mental note of this, I suppose. It looks like a long, thin building. And we're right there. The day room. Is that where we're going? Number seven, that green area up there? I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. Although it looks like the door to it is actually blocked off, so... Maybe there's another way. Hmm. What about this side? Anything? I see a box on a chair. And, uh, oh, what's this? Travel in style! Travel in comfort! Alright. Will do. I like that, yeah. Oh, there's something else on the chair by the looks of it. Spring? What's this? News information and practical advice for a modern lady. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, I like details like this. I mean, I think this is quite authentic. You probably did find something like this, right? Right. I see some lights flashing up there. Maybe I should take a look. Although, hmm. Can I go behind the desk? Of course I can. No one's going to tell me off for it. Looks like we've got the Times for London. What's that? Warsaw? Huh. Okay. Can't actually get through that door. There's a poster over there. Hmm. Yeah, no prompt for these doors, so I suppose that's not going to work. Uh, oh, hang on. There is something here, though. Sinners be damned. Let's take a look. Uh, what we got, then? Brunon, Helena, Victoria, Boris. Anyone you know? <laughs> I don't think so. Where is my Kenslin? Good question. Nice. Another poster up here, by the looks of it. Vivienne. Alright. Hang on, what is this? What's going on? A flashlight? I suppose I don't have one. Ah, another padlock in the way! Right, where's the nearest dumpster? Yeah, it'd be nice if I had that. Oh. Someone's around. Hello? Thomas? Thomas? Could be, right? <laughs> oh? Ding ding. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. <laughs> Calm your ass down and answer the bell. I will in a moment. I'll just have to wait. What's this? Ah, it's another postcard from the groundskeeper. Okay, let's see how he's doing. My dearest, I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start, a place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever. <sighs> right. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. All right. Again, another poster. Quality time by the lake. Hmm. I wonder if I'll get to experience that. We'll see. First things first, let's, uh... <laughs> let's check in! Oh. Ah, the ball again. Where did that come from? Did it drop down from the floor above? Oh, whoa. Whoa! This game's gonna break my controller just purely because of the rumbling. Right. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi. You startled me. Huh. I did, didn't I? Sadness. You look real scared. <laughs> I'm sadness. Hi. Marianne. That's a strange name. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Mm. Well, it's what I remember. Oh? Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. Oh, yeah? But I don't remember what it was. I see. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Right, I'm sure. But they're all gone. But they're all gone now. Yeah, that makes sense. Something happened to them? Uh, uh, Were they massacred? Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh that, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. <laughs> I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. I bet. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Hmm. Must have been nice. Yeah. It was. Not anymore. Not since the killing. What so, happened to your arm? Tell me. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I remember. People stopped coming. Hmm. Only a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Mary Ann? Oh. Yes. She likes to do that, apparently. Would you play with me? Just... It's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything, I'm Marianne! I'm looking for a man. Right. Thomas. Any ideas? Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Okay. This is cool. Yeah. I like this. The second floor. We can look there. Yeah? Come on. I, Hurry, oh, wait. We can't. I can't go that way. No. Well, one half of me can. I need to get up there somehow. Yeah. And how's that going to work? Um, right. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, <laughs> it's not going to be as simple as just going up, is it? Because it actually doesn't exist. You can see that there's a... There's a bit of a change on that bottom part of the screen there. Yeah. Um, all right. Wait, hang on. Do I? Let's go this way. Hey. These are... Right. An elevator. Yeah. Might as well see if it works. Might as well, right? Let's take a little look. Okay. Everything seems to be working. So, first, second. Uh, well, let's, let's go to the second, shall we? All the way up. Sadness. Yeah. I wished I knew her real name. Maybe we can find out what it is. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and... And what? 
Uh, well, we are going to have to have an out-of-body experience. Another one of her powers, I suppose. Okay, so let's see. All right. Let go. Oh, shit. Okay. So I'm going independent of my material self. There. A fuse box. Ah. Need some energy to spark it up. Okay. Right. Uh, always 40 fucking fuses, gotta right? Move fast. Yeah, gotta move fast. Um... Uh, again, it, it looks like even in the spirit world, I can't go up to the next floor. Wait, what is that down there? An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Ah. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, I think I actually do see some light over here, which might be able to give me the, uh, the power to, you know, spark up that fuse again. Wow, look at this. And you can see me dematerializing. Yeah, this isn't... Yeah, I, I can't do this for too long. Okay. Okay, Marianne. Right, oh boy. Now get your ghostly ass back and Ooh. power up that elevator. Oh, there's barely any of me left. I'm stick thin. Can I... Yeah, try it. Okay. Okay, right. Well, my arm is still lit up. I've still got glowing coral. So, maybe that was just like a shortcut, actually. But can I just go out here and... Yes, that's it. Spirit Blast? Yeah? Uh -huh. Hey! Fantastic! Okay, so, uh, I... Can we just join back up together? There you go. And now we can both go out. On the... Well, on the first floor, I think. But sure. Yeah, it works. I like the puzzles in this game. I, I think they're going to be uh, really quite creative. Okay, so... Yeah, um... Just long corridors and loads of rooms by the looks of it. What we got here? Uh, I can see down into reception. But that's about it, right? Inside doesn't show me anything? No. Well, that's interesting. The staircase actually works for me in the material world, but in the spirit world it just doesn't exist for whatever reason. I don't suppose I can have an out-of-body experience and leave my spirit somewhere, and... No. No, I, I don't think it works that way. What's this? Richard Tarkovsky. Alright. For the first time in the Neva Resort. Hmm. This is such a cool world. Right. Well, I mean... This should be working still, right? So, let's see. Let's see if we can actually get to the second floor now. There's no music. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Now where did she go? Great question. Looks like there's something over here in the material world. Uh, yeah, sure. Again. Looks much like the first floor, really. Just long corridors and lots of rooms. They're both very, very detailed worlds. I don't really know which one to look at more. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Well, it looks like we're actually getting some footprints going this way. So maybe down here? Alright. Huh. What is that? With, looks like a moth to me. This isn't remothered again, is it? <laughs> Sadness? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're getting some footprints that go... Huh. Through here. So how's this gonna work? Okay. Ah. Not getting through here. It's not going to work. Not without... Uh, well, I guess a key. Hmm, alright. Well, that's certainly where she went. Let's just keep going down the corridor. Let's have a look at maybe some of the other rooms. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah! Uh, spirit shield! Okay. Wow. Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> well, now you do. Now you do. Okay. Right, so got to watch out for the moths, at least in, in great numbers. And out of body experience again? Okay, so I'm just going to wait in the corridor while my spirit self investigates, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be some very creative puzzle solving in this game. I can just feel it. 
Oh, here we go. The key. Well, a key, an odd key, in fact. A very odd looking key. So is that a key that exists in the spirit world only? Hmm. Wow. Looks like all the furniture and stuff is made of bone. This does have a very Silent Hill kind of vibe, you know, with a sort of foggy world, other world kind of thing. Right, let's just get back together, shall we? Anything else? Um, it looks like there's plenty more to explore in the material world, but something's blocking me. Some... Some flesh, some leather, maybe. What the fuck is that? It's ah, something I can use. Gross. It looks like flesh. Right. Is that... skin? I think it might be. Lovely, yeah. Uh, I don't think this is going to work, but let's try it. No, no, it, it doesn't tell me it doesn't work. It just rumbles like, no. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's see if we can go back to where we met the moths, right? Like back here. Maybe that odd key is going to work. It should. Ooh. God, there they are. Right, no going back for me, I suppose. Yeah? Okay. Open the door. And we can both go in. <laughs> Alright! So what's in here? Again, the footprints just kind of disappear, so I guess she started to fly. Or she teleported, I don't know. Oh, well, okay. It seems to go into the next room. I don't know if we want to do that. I mean, we probably do at some point, but anything in here? Uh, our insight says not really, although there's a hole. Okay, uh, well, there's a view to uh, downstairs and maybe where we can go if we go through the wall. Right, okay, so yeah, let's go around here. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. It's like I get double the exploration. Right, so through here. Again, insight doesn't really point out anything. Looks like the only way. <laughs> Alright, so we're going down. We're going down. Okay. Whoa. How heavy are you, Marianne? What was that? <laughs> uh, more moths, maybe? Something worse? I fear it might be something worse. This room. Ooh. It feels Go on. cold. Memories of grief. Loneliness. Looks like that might be some light over there. Yeah. No? The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like okay. it's missing something. As opposed to last time or in the last video, there's actually something in the material world though. What is it? It's a it's a vase. And I've got nothing, but I need to find something to put in there. Okay. Oh, what's this in the spirit world? Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. There's a couple of things in the material world. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Oh yeah. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. Well, let's let's squeeze. Oh, find the point of recollection. Oh, oh. Oh, I see. So it's just finding the right spot with the thumbstick. Nice. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Right. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky. You shouldn't have. Ah. Please. It's the least I can do for all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. <laughs> so there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Oh, don't worry, that's going to be the only one. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Uh, it looks like we got something over here as well on the countertop, on the table, maybe? An old prescription. Oh, yeah? I know these drugs all too well. Diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition. Treated with electroshock. Refill six times. Lovely. Okay. Back we go, I suppose. Uh... This way, maybe? Open doors uh, on both sides? Whoa. 
I'm going to need more energy to get through. Well, I, I need to get the energy from that room. I think it's maybe something to do with the vase. I think it's something to do with the flower. I need to find a flower. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, it's a, it's a drawing, another eerie drawing of this nurse, I suppose. Nice. I presume it's sadness that's drawing those. Hmm. Okay, no flower, nothing to cut open the flesh either, and loads more moths. Let's see, what else can I do? Okay, I, I can go out here. Ah, alright. Yeah, maybe I can find a flower. You know, just a, a flower growing in the material world and, and use it. Hey, look. More of this. Whoa! Shit. This is fun. <laughs> that took me by surprise because I was looking at the other Looks screen. Like I'm in for another dive. Uh, a dive. Oh, I see what you mean. Like another out of body experience. If only I had something sharp. If only, right? If only. Okay, so. Um. Yeah. How is this going to work? Hmm. So can I, I can just do this whenever. That's pretty interesting, to be honest. And this right here? God. I hate this. Okay, yep. I can sidle just that a little bit further than my material self, it seems. Is that through the window? I think I see a flower pot. That might be. Oh yeah. Oh, hang on. Yep, there's something. Or hmm, maybe there should be something. Or maybe there is something in the material world, but it's not here. Okay. Uh, again, can't do anything with that at the moment. What's this? What is that blood? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck was that? Holy moly. All right, okay. Well, that that got me, and that got me good. Right, so there's got to be something in here, right? There's no danger? Okay, so what is this? It's like a, a sink or a, it's a bathtub, I think. Right, drain it, drain it. There's something in here, what is it? Razor blade. This thing isn't a razor. It's guilt, shame, regret. But it's also sharp, and I think maybe it can get through flesh, or at least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, I don't think I've got much time in my out body experience, to be honest. Um, so unless there's something else, in fact, screw it. Let's just join back. There you go. I don't know what happens if you don't join back, like, if she runs out of time, does she just, like, die or something, or...? Probably not. Probably not. Anyway, hopefully she's still got this razor blade. This thing looks strong. Right. Yep. Yep, it's there. Oh. Oh, okay, we're actually doing it with the left thumbstick. That's kind of cool. Ooh. Lovely sound. Disturbingly satisfying. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Okay, so now both of us are in here. <laughs> so what have we got? Okay, so Okay, it looks like there's a there's some paint in the foreground there. There is actually a flower here in the material world. I, can I grab that? This could be useful. Yes. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. Perfect. Okay, anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Not on this screen. What about this, though? Oh? What was that? A, a, like a bedpan or something? I'm not sure. There you go. Got it. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess! Ugh. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. You didn't clean that one up. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky. Oh, right. He ended up as her patient? Apparently. 
Huh, okay. So I, I suppose I've really just got to check this room out as my material self. What's going on in here? It is, it's a bathtub. And there's nothing that I want to say about it, apparently. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Can I go out this way? Uh, no, I can't. No. Alright. Well, let's go back the way we came. And... Yeah. Let's see if putting the flower in that vase actually does something. It should, right? So let's see. Dried up sunflower. It goes in. And yes. Yes, there you go. There's some more power to it now. There. Now it's strong enough. Okay, so you got a glowing arm. Brilliant. Okay. So that's where we came from. Let's go through here. In the foreground here, we didn't actually take a look, did we? What we got here? Oh, there's a couple of things. Okay, so we got some pills, I think. Hang on. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Useless old hag. Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> it's more than grief. More than despair. This letter crushed her spirit. Well, I suppose we've got to read it now, haven't we? Oh boy, okay, it's an apology. Dear Ursula, you're probably wondering why I'd write this letter instead of expressing myself directly. The reason, I'm afraid, is painfully simple. I'm writing this because I'm a coward. Because I couldn't br bloody hell, okay. Uh, because I couldn't bring myself to look you in the eye and say what is meant to be said. What must be said. Because the mere thought of breaking the heart of someone so delicate, so fragile, is simply more than I can bear. Ursula, my dearest Ursula. These past few months have brought joy to my heart. To know you are there for me. To feel our friendship blossom. And yet, that is all it can be. Friendship. Close. Pure. True. But never more. Please, try to understand. Being this close, this exposed to someone has never been easy for me. Life and its struggles have left me changed. Damaged in ways you couldn't possibly comprehend. You deserve someone to hold you. To share life's joys and sorrows with you. How I wish I could be that person, but I'm not. Words cannot express my regret, as I know, deep in my heart, this marks the end of our friendship. Please, forgive me. Forever your friend, R.T. Richard Tarkovsky there. Well, it was a nice memory, and now it's got really, really sad. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks, the medium. <laughs> Alright, so through here. Right. Yeah, that's it. Let's go through them. Oh, I can run again now. It seems we can only run in certain areas. Right. Okay. Are we good? We're good. And we've actually still got a fair amount of power in our arm, it looks like. Cool. Uh, okay, so that's open. So let's have a little look. Right. Yeah, like now, I can't seem to run anymore. Hmm. Nothing on the inside, no. It's been a while since we met up with Sadness, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, hopefully she's up here somewhere. Maybe we're just going to bump into each other. Okay. Looks like we got a bit of a problem. We got a, a bit of a blockage on this end. On this side. <laughs> it looks very silly on the right screen. But it's very necessary. There you go. Alright, so through here. I think I actually was on the other side of this, wasn't I? That's right. Yes, so I, I'm back here again. Okay. Well, I, I should still have that razor blade. To cut it with. Ah, don't worry. I got it. Drag it down. Yeah, disturbing, but satisfying. <laughs> it's actually really well done. It reminds me of tracing Mario. In uh, Mario Party, that mini game, if you're familiar with it. Um, right, okay, so spirit shield time and run if you can. Maybe I should have got some more. No, I, I think we're good, I think we're good. I got enough. Right, and I've still got a little charge left, that's good. Okay, so here. Okay, 
just out of interest. I'm, what's right at the very end? Can I go any further? I don't suppose I can. No, no, of course not. Not without having an out-of-body experience, anyway. Alright, so it's got to be through here. Mm, oh, there we go. We, we are actually following her still. And we're seeing... What's this? Well, let's read, shall we? Reclaiming history. Fire erupts in the sky. Explosions echo across the wilderness. Sparks rain down on the, fo uh, the ruins of Fort Pulaski. A once impenetrable fortress that saw some of the most intense fighting during the 1945 offensive against Hitler's forces. This time, however, it was not bombs or mortar fire that lit up the night sky, but a spectacular display of fireworks that marked the grand opening of the Neva Workers' Resort. The event was attended by the leaders of the party, including the first secretary, who had this to say during the gala. Let this site of victorious struggle against the forces of evil become a place of respite for the working people of the Republic in times of peace and prosperity. Liberated in January 1945 by the heroic Red Army, the historical landmark is currently undergoing renovations and will soon be open to the public at large. The Neva Workers Resort will welcome its first guests by the end of June. There you go. Anything else? Just the newspaper article. All right. So, we've both got a door. Thomas! Manager, huh? Marianne! Oh! oh. <laughs> Long time Thomas. no see. We gotta stop meeting like this. I we told really do. you to follow me! I tried. Take it easy, sad. <laughs> this place is huge. It was mean calling it's us easy sad. To get lost. Just, just stick with me! I was okay. trying. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You're funny. <laughs> this Thomas Rekovich. Yeah. What? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, she can't. <laughs> she couldn't Listen, see it. Hun, you said you remembered someone named Thomas. Yeah. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I... Uh, I guess... You think he stuck around? Uh, I'm not sure... Hmm... There was an old man here... Oh? Very recently... I think... Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Hmm... Oh, I don't know... <laughs> Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. Blah. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! Yeah. Uh, I feel... Oh, uh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... You should probably listen to her. Here. Oh. Sadness? There isn't anyone here. She's gone. All right, what lies behind this door? Let's go find out, shall we? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish, fear, longing. Oh yeah? Wow, look at this. Okay, uh, so in the material world, it looks like I can take a quick look at the desk. What the hell happened here? I'm not really sure. The phone? My senses jolted as I touched the phone. Yeah? I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. To call you? Okay. Hang on. What's up with that clock over there? Right, we're gonna have a look at that after I have a look at all these things. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? Maybe. Looks like there's a document Someone down here in the drawer. down recently. A to-do list. Okay, get up. Don't turn off that alarm clock. Medication. Double check the forest path. Get to the hotel. Clear out the old papers. Get on with the research. Double check the office. Check up on L. L. Okay. Nothing on the back by the looks of it either. Was there something on the floor? Right, yeah. It still works. Oh! Someone's been using it. Well, that someone's gonna be me. If I can't get that one downstairs, this one will do. There's a key, too. Too small to fit a door. Ah. Hmm. All right. Maybe something in the office? Like a clock? Or a... 
Oh no, it's not it's not gonna be the desk drawers, they're all open. Alright. Yeah, something in the material world though, certainly. What have we got here? Oh wow, alright. If only I could jot that down or take it out of its frame, that'd be great. Uh nothing on the right side by the looks of it. Uh we got something over here. There's a, a cabinet at the back. Maybe it's for this. Oh no, it's open already. What have we got? Grand opening, I assume. Oh yeah? Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. I guess so. Is this Thomas? Maybe him? I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure who was the first secretary. I think this guy here, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, anything else? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yes! What? Hang on, no, I can only see this with insight, but there is a secret button. Oh, shit. Here we are. Uh, yeah. Uh, figures. There's gotta be a way to power it up. Okay. Uh, sounds like another puzzle to me. Okay. I have a feeling it might be to do with the clock and the time. Okay, yeah, again, in the material world, I can have a look I at this. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Hmm. Oh, is it the small key? There we go. It is. So, can we? That's as far as it goes. I see. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going there. back in time. An imprint. Hang on. Is that... Thomas? Right there? Yeah, he's there for, like, 20 minutes or so. If I can just hold it there. As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. Oh, nice. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. Okay, yep, here he is. No. Don't do it. Don't do what? I can't. We must. You must what? Oh, I need to know more. I need to know more. How far back can we go? Okay. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. Okay, so, uh, like, ten to nine? What was he thinking about? I'm kind of doing this in reverse. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it this way. Maybe I should just go all the way back and then go forward. Wait. I can feel... something's wrong. Oh? It's coming. What's coming? Oh, Jesus, come on! <laughs> uh, a little bit more. Right. There! We oh! Looks like a passage. It is. Okay, it's gone again. But it looks like Thomas is looking at it or dealing with it. So, let's get his thoughts. Shit. Thought I had it this time. It's taking too long. What am I missing? <laughs> I really, really wish I knew what you were talking about. <sighs> Maybe he's, you know, contemplating talking to me. I no. Uh... Okay, so there's an opening. I mean... If there's an opening in the spirit world, is there also an opening in the material world? It's probably something to do with that button. I might be able to have an out-of-body experience and go through. But right, okay, let's just keep on going back. Oh, no, there he is. He's doing something with it. He's probably pushing the button, to be honest. Looks like I'm in for another dive. Yeah, it does, to be perfectly honest. Uh, hold on. I'm kind of breaking him up by standing inside him. Oh, gotta check the wiring. Right, the I wiring. I need to get stuck in there. Okay. Well, I think I think that's what I'm going to do, but I still want to see how far back I can go. A spirit well. Oh, oh. I could absorb some of that energy. And that's it. Four o'clock. That's the limit. So it's like four to ten. But yeah, let's go absorb that energy. Awesome. Okay. So does that have like a duration? I mean, let's say I just never use it. Is it going to run out in ten minutes while I have to find another one? Anyway, what's Thomas got to say? I'm so lost without you. I don't know if I can do this. But enough. Get it together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get it together. Get it together at a different time. Right. It's open. It's open at about ten past five, and maybe, well, maybe I could go through. Yeah, yeah. The barrier's removed. 
Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Right. Wonder what's in here on the other side. <laughs> Is that another fuse box? Oh, I'm seeing a pattern emerge in this game. Right, well, I've, I've got some energy, so let's unleash it. Right. Oh. Where's that going? Let's see if it worked. To the button. Right. Maybe I've just given it enough charge so the button works. I'm not so sure about this, though, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> not so comfortable with that. Something over here? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, let's just get back together again. Right. Try this again. Have I done it? Okay. Yes! Let's get the rest of me in there. Let's do that. Alright, so we're through. Oh. Whoa! Jeez. Sorry, not uh, we, just me. Uh, I'll never get used to this. <laughs> Probably not. So, we're going to see what's in this secret room next time in part three. Thank you very much for watching. See you then. Did I see something at the hill? Here we go. Ah! Whoa. Back to school puzzles and crosswords. Maybe I'll get on with those if I don't find anything else to do. <laughs> ah, another padlock in the way. Right, where's the nearest dumpster? Right. Oh! I can take care of myself. <laughs> don't be so sure. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Whoa. How heavy are you, Marianne? Or oh, just whoa. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that took me by surprise because I was looking at the other screen. Like what is that blood? Oh. Uh, <laughs> whoa. Yeah. That was disturbingly satisfying. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Well, it was a nice memory and now it's got really, really sad. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks, the medium. Take it easy, sad. <laughs> This place is huge. It was mean calling us sad. Okay, anything else? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, yes. Something's wrong. Oh, it's coming. What's coming? Oh, Jesus, come on. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> is that another fuse box? Oh, I'm seeing a pattern emerge in this game. 